Hello everyone. In this video, we will solve this interesting German math Olympiad question. This question is x plus y is equal to 6, x y is equal to 36. And we will find out what is the value of x and y in this math Olympiad question. Yes. So first of all, I can see really, this is our first equation and this is our second equation. So first of all, if I take our first equation, so I can say really, our first equation, it will be x plus y is equal to 6. Yes. Then in this case, I can say really, if I move on this x in the right side, here is, so it will be y minus 6 minus x. Yes, I just move on this x in this side, it will be negative x. So we'll find out our third equation, it will be y is equal to 6 minus x. Yes. But if you follow our second equation, our second equation, it will be x, y is equal to 36. Yes, this is our second equation. But in this equation, you can see easily, here is y is equal to 6 minus x. So if you put this value in this equation, so you can see easily, it will be x times y, it will be 6 minus x is equal to 36. Yes. Then. In this expression, I can say easily, here is, look, 6 times x, it will be 6x minus x times x, it will be x square minus plus minus, it will be minus is equal to 36. Then, I can say easily, this equation becomes, we'll find out here is minus x square, yes, and here is positive 6x, and if I move on this 36 in this side, a left side it will be minus 36 is equal to 0 yes so at this moment I can say here is minus x square plus 6x minus 36 is equal to 0 so this equation becomes look here is minus so I multiply both side minus 1 so minus minus it will be x square positive x square plus minus it will be minus 6x and minus minus it will be plus 36 is equal to 0 yes so we'll find out here is a quadratic equation this equation it will be x squared minus 6x plus 36 is equal to 0 so if i compare this equation here is a x squared plus v x plus c is equal to 0 so this time i can say here is a is equal to 1 yes and v is equal to minus 6 and c is equal to 36 yes so at this moment i know we know here is x is equal to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4 ac over 2a according to these rules if i follow these rules this time i can say in this quadratic equation here is x is equal to minus b so minus b minus it will be minus and minus 6 plus minus square root b square so it will be minus 6 whole square minus 4 ac a is 1 and c is 36 over 2a a is 1 yes now at this moment look here is c is 36 a is 1 and c b is minus 6 here is b is minus 6 so we'll find out here is x is equal to look here is minus this is minus so i can say really minus minus it will be positive 6 yes plus minus square root minus 6 whole square or oh, not that minus something power is even number it will be positive so minus 6 whole square it will be 36 minus 4 times 36 it will be 144 144 over 2 times 1 it will be 2 yes but in this expression i can say really here is x is equal to 6 plus minus square root 36 minus 144 we know that it will be minus 108 yes over 2 here is x is equal to 6 plus minus here is square root minus 108 so 108 if i divide by 2 i can say that it will be 64 uh, 108 divide 2 it will be 54 yes then if I divide by 2 we will find out here is 27 and again if I divide by 2 3 it will be 9 then 
if I divide by 3 we'll find out here is 3 yes then I can say really square root minus 108 it will be square root look here is 2 2 so 2 square times and here is 3 3 so I can say really uh, it will be 3 square times 3 and here is minus 1 yes over 2 then this equation becomes x is equal to 6 plus minus look square root is cancel we'll find out is 2 times and it will be square root is cancel here is 2 it will be 3 and it will be square root 3 and here is i square root minus 1 it will be i according to complex number rules over 2 then we'll find out it is 6 plus minus 6 2 times 3 it will be 6 square root 3 i over 2 yes now at this moment if we divide this 6 by 2 we'll find out here is 3 plus minus this 6 divide 2 it will be 3 and here is square root 3 i yes so we'll find out here is 2 value the value of x1 it will be 3 plus 3 square root 3i and here is x2 it will be 3 minus 3 square root 3i yes I solved this German math Olympiad question it is a nice algebra question okay now at this moment look we know that our third equation our third equation uh, it will be y is equal to 6 minus x so I can say it or uh, at this moment we'll find out the value of y in this question so we know that y is equal to 6 minus x this is our third equation y is equal to 6 minus x recall our third equation but we'll find out the value of x we'll find out at this moment what is the value of y in this question so it will be y 6 minus x recall here is x is equal to 3 plus 3 square root 3i yes and here is y is equal to 6 minus x it will be 3 minus 3 square root 3i yes I take both value in this equation now at this moment I can say really, here is look y is equal to 6 minus plus minus it will be minus 3 plus minus it will be minus 3 square root 3i yes and in this case y is equal to 6 minus 3 plus square 3 square root i because of that minus minus it will be plus then in this expression i can see here is y is equal to 3 6 minus 3 it will be 3 minus 3 square root 3i and in this case I can say really y is equal to 3 plus 3 square root i so we'll find out here is x1 and y1 is equal to look when x1 is equal to it is y1 it is y2 so when x1 is equal to 3 plus 3 square root 3i this time we'll find out y1 it will be 3 minus 3 square root 3i yes but again when x2 and y2 yes when x2 is equal to 3 minus 3 square root 3i this time we'll find out y2 it will be 3 plus 3 square root i yes let's check out our question is x plus y is equal to 6 and x y is equal to 36 this is our question now at this moment we are check out x plus y remember that x is equal to 3 plus 3 square root 3i plus y y it will be 3 minus 3 square root i yes so look this this cancel because of that here is positive this is negative so 3 plus 3 it will be 6 so this is right okay x plus y is equal to 6 but our second equation is x y is equal to 36 x y it will be 36 okay but x and y x it will be 3 plus 3 square root 3 i and y it will be 
3 minus 3 square root i yes but we'll find out in this case uh, this value is 36 it is left hand side and right hand side obviously equal so we know that it will be a plus b times a minus b it will be a square minus b square according to algebra rules we know that it will be a square minus b square yes so 3 squared will be 9 minus we know that it will be 3 square and it will be square root 3 whole square and i square look I take here is 3 square root 3 and i so I can say that it will be 9 minus 9 times 3 and it will be minus 1 because of that i squared will be minus 1 according to complex number rules you know that i squared will be minus 1 so it will be 9 minus minus it will be plus 9 times uh, 3 it will be 27 so you know that 9 plus 27 it will be 36 this is right hand side so i can say left hand side and right hand side both are equal so our interesting matter here is no real solution both are complex solution thank you all if you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel for others interesting video goodbye take care